The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is brought to you by Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute, affiliated with Baptist Health. What's up, Jacksonville? Dan Hicken here, your favorite media mogul, mustachioed and all. I lost a bet to Prosser, so you're going to have to put up with it for at least another week. But glad to be along with you to give you all things Jacksonville sports coming up this weekend. And as always, we start with the Jacksonville Jaguars. And there's always stuff going on with the Jaguars. A couple of important items for you to consider heading into the weekend. Number one. Would you be interested in Orlando Brown as your team's left tackle? Or are you going to tag Cam Robinson? Or are you going to work out a deal with Cam Robinson? That's one of the things Urban Meyer staff is facing, one of the challenges they have to decide. Orlando Brown plays for the Ravens. He's played mostly right tackle, played left tackle when Stanley got hurt up there last year, did a real good job, wants to play that position. Obviously, it's worth more money. If you trade for him and you're going to give up a second, a third, a fourth round pick, whatever, Are you also willing to pay him because that's what you're going to have to do? So that's one of the decisions the Jaguars are looking at. Another decision, maybe Hard Knocks, HBO's hit show coming to Jacksonville this summer. Listen, if you know Urban Meyer like I think I know Urban Meyer, Urban Meyer is a first-year coach. You're exempt from it. You don't have to do it. My thought is Urban Meyer says, "Ah, yeah, we ain't doing that. No, 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 no. But you never know. That's the one thing. Uh, So they would certainly be one of the contenders. And isn't it great that the national media is talking about the Jaguars because of Urban Meyer, because of Trevor Lawrence? We know why. So anyway, that's another thing to consider. Also, finally, congrats to uh, Amy Palsik, who has been hired to head Jags Communications. And also congrats to our friend Dan Edwards, uh, Senior Vice President now of Alumni and Tradition, as uh, he gets that gig. And Amy Palsik takes over the communication part of the program. She comes over from Houston. Uh, which is a good move for her, and we welcome her to Jackson. All right, let's hit the hard one, talk some hoops. So it's a big weekend. It's a big weekend for the Gators, as we learned, by the way. We've gone ahead and rescheduled another game. Why couldn't it be Texas A&M? No, they got to play Tennessee at Tennessee. Thanks a lot, SEC. Appreciate that. That's coming up uh, next weekend. This weekend, it's a trip to the Commonwealth, taking on Kentucky. Be nice to get them. They're not nearly as good. They're playing better of late, but they've been off for a couple weeks. Let's hope they're rusty. Let's hope Florida plays a good game and wins one on the road. A win tomorrow. I think they're in anyway, but a win tomorrow would certainly cinch it. Uh, They still have Missouri at home as well. That's coming up on Saturday. And then FSU, man, they are rolling. They are a really good program. They are going to win another ACC championship there at the top of the Atlantic Coast Conference. And uh, they've got a good test, though. They're going to North Carolina. It's coming off a tough loss to Marquette, an embarrassing loss. Carolina had worked its way back in. And uh, a win over FSU would help Carolina's resume. Kind of weird to say that FSU is just rolling towards maybe a maybe a one seed, but certainly a two seed, I would think, coming up in the uh, in the tournament. All right, high school, all kinds of stuff going on. Don't forget baseball all weekend long, uh, uh, all over the area. It's such good baseball. If you want to see good baseball, kids going to D1 colleges all over the the high school front. But basketball, we're into the playoffs. Our girls didn't do so well in the Final Four. But our guys are still alive and battling towards a Final Four. We'll start with uh, Lee, who beat Ponte Vedra. And uh, Lee's got a big one coming up with Choctaw, Choctahatchee. Love saying that. One of my favorite high schools in the area. Not in the area, but in the state. Uh, Lee and Choctahatchee coming up. We'll see if the hometown generals can keep it rolling on the girls' side. What about Oakland? They're really good at good sports. Really good softball team. Well, they're 24-2. and two. And uh, they got a good test in the Final Four. Tampa Plant coming up uh, this weekend as well. As well. So that's all the time we got, ladies and gentlemen. Check out the local hoops matchup. Sit back, relax. Oh, what a weekend we have on tap for Jacksonville FLA. We'll see you next time on Jacksonville's Weekend in Sports.